Hey guys, what's up? Hey, I have a uh, Samsung refrigerator on back of me, and I had to replace the filter in it. So I went on to Amazon, bought some cheap filters. They weren't the Samsung filters. Figured I could get out of it cheaper, and uh, I noticed this. So the light, the filter light, always tends to stay on, and um, using the generic water filter, it uh, it doesn't shut off. And I'm on my second replacement. So the thing keeps banking on, and that's supposed to come on when the filter is bad. And um, even if you try to reset it, it doesn't like to reset. So I'm gonna throw a Samsung filter in it and see if I can get it to go off. So before you replace the filter, make sure you shut the water valve off. I just shut it off, and that's the feed line for the ice maker. Change the filter, you're just gonna turn it to the left. It should pop right out for you. Pull it out. And I pulled the other drawer out. You can hear some water coming out. Come up. Wake that up in a minute. I have a brand new sand sun filter that I just picked up. Put a link to this in the description of this video if you want to go buy one on the internet. So this little magnet and tag came in the package with my um, Samsung filter. It says to take this little magnet off the block and match it up with this magnet right here. And it's supposed to change the color to authenticate that it's a Samsung OE filter. So. I'm gonna do that now. Let's see if it does anything. What the heck? It kind of ripped on me. But it's supposed to turn it in green or something? Let me see. Yeah, and it did. You can kind of see it. Might be hard to see in the video, but it has green light lines on it. So it says to take that off and then put your new. OE filter in place, the water's off. I wiped up some of the water. So this Samsung uh, original filter, it has to have something in it to communicate with the refrigerator so you can't really use a generic one or else that annoying filter light stays on. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to push the filter in place and turn up clockwise and it'll lock in. And now we can turn the water back on the back of the refrigerator. Sometimes it takes a few uh, cupfuls to get all the water to come out with no air in it. It'll bleed the air out of the system. So I found that it usually takes about three to four times to film a jar up like this, or a glass, and then you should be okay. So to get the filter light reset, you have to unlock it if it's locked. So hold that for three seconds. All right, it held out for three seconds. That wouldn't turn off with the um, generic filter. I tried it a million times, could not get that light to turn off, but now that I have an OE Samsung filter in it, it did reset, so I'm gonna lock this so that none of my settings on the refrigerator can change accidentally, and uh, you should be good. Okay, so before you put your draw back in, look under here, make sure the filter isn't leaking. Mine's fine. And I uh, can slide your your, draw, your vegetable draw back into place. And that's how you change the water filter in your Samsung refrigerator. If you have any questions, leave a con comment, and on the video, I'll reply back to you. Uh, and the link, I put a link in the description of the video over to those filters. So if you want to buy one, you can. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.